Okay, so this is the IPSP tutorial in HD. Uh, down here, this is going to be the website that you go to to download IPSP. Right here, fluidmarkup.com slash IPSP. I'll also include that in the description, so you could just click on there. Um, here's the website right here. This is what it's going to look like. I'll scroll up here. Um, so this is what it's going to look like. You're going to scroll down. Sc yeah, scroll down to the download. And then we're going to see there's three types of downloads there. We're going to do the manual installer right there. That one right there. Click on that one right there. And then click on save. And then I'm going to save it to my desktop, but you could save it wherever you want to. Desktop save. Um, l give it a second. And we'll be done. So now mine would be on my desktop. And yours will be over wherever you saved it. See, it's right there. PSP 11 manual. Okay. So now it's time to insert your USB cable to your PSP. Uh, just flip your PSP up. And you'll see the port up there, and then your USB port on the computer. So plug it into your computer, and then you go to the options menu on your PSP, and then find USB connection, which is the top, and hit X. Uh, let it do that for a second. And then this is what's going to happen to your computer at the same time that this is happening right now. This, this right there will come up. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on open with the files. And this is what's inside your PSP. What we're going to use is the folder down there, PSP. And then we're also going to use the common folder. If you don't have the common folder like this, most people, what you have to do is you got to go to new, folder, and then type common in in all caps. C O M M O N, common. Make that a new folder. Double click it in there. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to open up the PSP 11 manual. And then in here, you see the, the two folders. We're going to move IPSP into the common folder. Press yes. Give it a little bit to move it real quick. Okay. So this next part, um, it's right in there. All right, the next part we're gonna move. Uh, we're gonna move PSP tunes into the PSP. It has to be in the main root. So what we have to do is go back to the main root right there, and we're gonna move PSP tunes into the main root of the PSP memory or the memory stick. Scroll over. There it is. PSP tunes. Move it over into there. Um, it's usually the best idea to move it under the folder with the root. Um, let's see, when that black line comes up right there. Yes, all right. So we got it right there. And, mm, okay. So that's what you have to do there. Close it out and get your PSP out for the next part. Close it right there. Okay, so you're going to go over to the networking. You do not need a wireless connection for this. Click that. Let it come up a bit. Okay, now press the up button to go to the address. Press X. Now you're going to enter this address right here. It's, it's going to be file colon slash PSP slash common slash IPSP slash index dot HTML. Press start, the start button. And it says, do you want to run the plugin enabled on this page? Press yes. Now, if it doesn't come up like mine, there's been a lot of people, and I know this problem where it says main menu up here. Um, that problem has now been solved. Here's how you do it. You go over to the settings, press there. Then go to settings again. Then you go to catchy settings. And then you go to do not use. You press X to select it, you know, move it. Press do not use, then press OK. Then go back. 
And I'm not going to refresh the page, but you would refresh the page. Now, if it's if you're still encountering problems with the main menu at the top or any, you know, blank screens or error, go to delete catchy and then press yes. Then it'll delete it real quick, refresh the page again. Okay, so this is um, been your uh, tutorial, and here's a better, here's, here's the actual instructions, I guess. Right there, there's a full, uh, there's a notepad pro program with the actual instructions. Uh, here's the specifications you need for your PSP. You need the firmware and to make sure, you know, you delete your catchy and, you know, do all that stuff. And also, then down here, here's your PC requirements. You have to have these um, software and a USB cable. And here's some other stuff, like uh, what it can do, and you know. Um, uh, uh, this is full with a lot of stuff in this music. Okay, this is this I've had uh, people have been getting a lot of questions about. Now this this um, music stuff it was only for uh, you can only download them for very small amounts right here. Um, so, see right here, th it was a networking problem because only the PSP can carry amount of songs in it. So, only MP3s too. Well, oh, whoops. Right here, only MP3s, no WAV, WMA files, just MP3s. Plus, they have to be that size right there. Um, here, I'll highlight it. They have to be that size because of that, uh, the PSP's memory sucks, but okay. Oh, well. Um, so there you have right there. And also, if you want to download them, their instructions are right up there. So those are just some other things, just copyright or whatever. There's also the other f uh, type of file if you want to open it with that, but if you don't have Adobe or anything, you can just use the notepad. I mean, it's just a bit nicer and fancier, that's it. Okay, so. Alright, now we're back on the PSP. Have fun with your IPSP, and if you have any um, questions or whatever, uh, feel free to leave a comment or feel free to message me too. Um, let me select a game. Pong. Yeah, you have to sometimes select these different things. It's always going to ask you want to run the plugin enabled, always say yes. PSP Pong. Yeah, it's used by Flash. It's a Flash game. It's pretty sweet. Boom. Choose easy play. Music. Here go away. Watch me whoop the computer. Yeah, boy. Move the analog stick or the to move your thing there. That's pretty much all you have to do, and then press X to start it. But there's like a ton of different games that you should have instructions before them, most of them at least. So, like I said before, have fun with your new IPSP. Beat the computer in every game. And have a great time. Thank you.